I thought you were a bear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm worried about snacks and stuff. Yeah. I still think you're a bear. <laughs> I had my bear mace out and everything, dude. If it was you, I was still going to spray you, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just for the lol. Just for fun. Just for fun. <laughs> Have you ever, have you ever maced a British person? <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's hilarious. <laughs> Stay tuned, dear viewers. <laughs> you already have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. It's that stick rocking you. Look at it. You're stuck up a little bit. <laughs> Dogs that don't like keeping you gentle. a giant stick. And... Oh. What do you think you want? Do you want this one? Or this one? Oh, you want the other one now? You want the other one? Okay, don't throw it over, Ray Ray. Here's some mornings you don't want answers to the questions you ask. Yeeks. Get this man some milk. Good morning. Hiking down from Little Rock Knob Vista, where we camped last night. Um, me Gadget and Soap have been camping with Masterpiece and Ray Ray the last couple of nights, and it's been a hoot. They got a puppy named, uh, uh, oh gosh, what's the puppy's name? Scarecrow. And she is very, very cute and very, very sweet. And uh, today we head up to uh, the top of Roan Mountain, which is really, really exciting. Uh, it's a beautiful day, blue skies. I got plenty of sleep last night. The wind isn't too crazy, even though it's definitely gonna pick up. So we're gonna try and do lunch up there, but it might just be too windy. Caught a beautiful sunset last night. Had some great conversations. Yeah, just a couple of beautiful days on trail. Um, we're thinking somewhere around 14 miles today. There is the Over Mountain Shelter camping area where there used to be a big barn and it was a very popular AT camping destination, but they raised the barn last year, so that's gone. So we're thinking we might camp down there. We might go a little bit further up because the barn is at the bottom of a valley, so it may get very cold down there with all the cold air sinking, um, but we'll see. We're going to see how we're feeling. It's so beautiful today. We honestly might push more miles, so yeah, I'm just going to play it by ear. This may surprise you. The Run Highlands are high up. Who would have thought? Not gonna lie to you. I think that if I had ended up doing this suction hike last year, the uh, five days to Roan Highlands I had planned as like a testing stretch to see if I was going to commit to the AT. I think it would have kicked my butt. <laughs> I think it would have kicked my butt. I don't know if I'd be here. Kind of glad I just went in, well, not blind, but blind enough. Because uh, today's climb is no joke. I've been climbing for like two hours. It's been a fun climb. It's beautiful. Like... Look at all the moss and it's a lot of spruce needles on the ground, but dang, dude. Roan be Ronin. smells amazing up here. It's like so sweet and sprucey and it's so red. 
and green. This is just beautiful hiking, guys. The Rhone Highlands. They make you work for it, but it's worth it. about 2 30 and I just got the best trail magic ever. GPS just gave me a side salad from Chick-fil-A and 12 Chick-fil-A McNuggets. And Mountain Goat's husband was here. He took all my trash and gave me a bunch of little Debbie snack cakes. I love trail magic. If you just see yourself places. For me, especially starting this trail, having set out to do the section hike in Rhone, it just feels like I took a really long winding road to get here. And it really feels like I hiked almost 400 miles just to get to the Rhone Highlands. And I know I've said I hiked 250 miles to get to Max Patch. Wow, I'm so excited to see Beauty Spot. This is probably the first place that I've actually really felt like I hiked to get to. I'm just feeling really proud of myself right now. And I don't know, just a big moment. It's so beautiful here. We couldn't have gotten better weather. I've met incredible people that I've hiked here with, and I have a good friend back home named Boogeyman who is like my backpacking buddy. And for a long time, I always felt like I couldn't backpack unless he was there. You know, like I wasn't good enough to do it on my own. And at some point the script flipped and I hiked here myself. I've had a lot of wonderful people that helped me get here, him included. Hi Russ. <laughs> but I walked here and I got myself here. the sunset a bit today. Got about 0.9 left to over mountain shelter camping area and it is about six o'clock. Sun goes down at 7 30. So I'm trying to scoot over there so I can get everything set up and cook my dinner and call in my sleeping bag before the sun goes down. So worth it to dawdle around the Rhone Islands but never fun to be jogging your last five miles of the day. So, what? <laughs> it's my channel! <laughs> These guys have their own channels, you can go. No, no, we want to watch your nonsense, but less of you. <laughs>